Hello, nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Weekend Nerddom Movies Edition for the week of May 7th, 2018. This week in movies, we're talking about another Annabelle movie. Oh, please, God, make them stop. Uh, Gambit is picking up some more steam again. Thank you, thank you. Spawn is reportedly picking up more steam. So much is going on in the movie realm. Let's kick into the intro real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Auberginois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander Worf, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. First thing for movies this week, we're talking about Maleficent. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer is in talks to be the antagonist, uh, who is going to supposedly be a mysterious queen. Um, mysterious because that's what the script says, or mysterious because we don't know who she is. We're going to find that out in the coming weeks as soon as, you know, they cement a deal. But the interesting thing about this is Maleficent is in other stories is the antagonist so it's really funny to think of an antagonist for an antagonist um i i, I think michelle pfeiffer and angelina jolie in a movie together on opposite sides of something sounds like a great thing to watch i do to take my money man to just yeah let's do this i i think this is a really cool announcement i i want to see this movie now i i really apprehensive for sequels generally speaking um, unless we're expanding, uh, properly expanding the universe, it, it doesn't make sense to revisit a, a worn out uh, title. And I felt like Maleficent was really cool in, the, in its originality, but in its originality it also felt pretty neat and tidy in its wrapping. So when they announced the sequel, I was like, eh, I don't know if that's a thing we need, but... Adding Michelle Pfeiffer to the mix, I feel like is a good sign that they're going in a really, in another interesting direction with it. So I am a little less trepid. But that's all the announcements we have for that. We're gonna kick on next to Annabelle 3. The sequels and spinoffs just will not stop coming. Uh, the writer of the first movie of the original Annabelle a man named Gary Doberman is set to direct this installment of the franchise. I believe this is his directorial debut. So somebody who knows the franchise pretty well because he was part of the inception of it. I feel like that has a little bit of good. We got an announcement for The Nun uh, that I'm not going to talk about because, oh lord, let's just make a good horror movie and let it be a standalone in and of itself. Uh, hopefully, at best, this Annabelle movie will be the last Annabelle movie and they'll just do spin-offs into Infinity, but, uh, this, the, the Annabelle 2 was just, ah, uh, it's not very good. <laughs> there were a couple of really good jump scares, like, literally made me jump, but as, the movie as a whole was bad. Bad, bad, bad. So, ah. Uh, Let's, here's to hoping, Here, here's to hoping that the third one will put an end to it and also redeem it in the same breath. So, uh, Next on the list, though, we're talking about the Spawn reboot. Jamie Foxx, the man who, when they originally were talking, when uh, McFarlane was originally talking about this back in like 2013, Jamie Foxx was campaigning super hard to be Spawn. He wanted to play Spawn. Well, it seems, now that we're actually getting the reboot, they've offered the part to Jamie Foxx. So, he hasn't taken it yet, they are still apparently working out the details, but, I mean, if he wants it, then it's safe to say he's gonna get it, since they offered it to him. Um, I just, if he gets it, that also means they're going to, that's a really big name, they're going to probably fast track it, it's going to be... Uh, a, a lot faster to the screens. So, uh, th nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that announcement. Jamie Foxx will be a great spawn. I have no doubt in my mind. Kicking on next, we're talking about Gambit. Yes, Gambit again. 
Uh, it seems that so producer Simon Kimberg was on uh, was talking to Entertainment Weekly and he made a reference to Gambit that they're still trying to get it off the ground. Uh, he was talking about X-Force and he was talking about uh, keeping up with business as usual because there hasn't been a talk of the merger yet, the Fox-Disney merger, or Disney buying Fox out, however you want to put that. So he's talking about the things that are on their plate. They're not stopping making the X-Men movies. They have no reason to stop making the X-Men movies. Even once the merger's done, uh, it sounds like they're still going to be the team in charge of making the X-Men movies. Uh, that they're, the only real difference from what I can foresee is that there's going to be possible crossovers with the MCU, the, the proper Disney MCU. So there's going to be less of this wall between the two of them. Though, I feel like we're still going to get a sense of that wall. Um, so yeah, it, he, he was talking about the, the Disney thing and how they're not talking about it. And ha the, all of the things that are on their, all their on their plate right now. They got Deadpool 2 coming out this month. I hope you have your tickets. The, the X-Force movie is still going to happen. The New Mutants movie, even though it got pushed back, is still going to happen. The, uh, uh, the Dark Phoenix movie, again, even though it got pushed back, is still going to happen. And the second half of the Dark, Dark Phoenix movie is still going to happen. They haven't stopped any of this stuff. There, there are no proper X-Men movies on their horizon at this point in time, aside from Dark Phoenix, but... I feel like that is, well, I don't know, I take it back. That's a proper X-Men movie. So there's two proper X-Men movies on their horizon. So again, they're not stopping this. They have no reason, once again, to stop. And Channing Tatum is producing and starring in the show just like Ryan Reynolds did for Deadpool. And he's using Deadpool as kind of his blueprint, Deadpool and Logan, for you know how we should do this movie, so that's a good thing. Uh, it's always a good thing when the star is so gung ho to be the character. That means he's doing his homework. That means he wants to uh, give the proper homage to the source material. Nothing wrong with that. Also, Fox has announced or has not been quiet about rather the fact that they are actively seeking a new director. That is the linchpin right now of what is holding them back. All they need is a director so they can start moving forward with the Gambit movie. So, come on Hollywood, find a director for them. Uh, but that's all we got for Gambit. Next, we're kicking on down the road to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yes, Volume 3 is actually going to be a thing that happens very soon, it would seem. Uh, Chris, Pat, Chris Pratt was uh, on his Instagram and posted a picture of Palm, I cannot pronounce her last name, the, the chick who played Mantis, uh, Clem, Clem Teef, um, and he's wishing her a happy birthday, and he said something that maybe he wasn't supposed to say. He said something along the lines, I'm paraphrasing, of, I can't wait to start filming Volume 3 with her next year. So, Guardians Volume 3 is going to happen after the end of Phase uh, 3, Phase 3, Phase 4, whatever phase we're in right now for the MCU. So, Guardians Volume 3 is going to happen after the Avengers 4. Very interesting. That's all we have at the moment, though, so we have to keep, keep, keep on going. Next on the list, we're talking about Deadpool. Oh man, a couple of things have been going on with Deadpool. Obviously, Deadpool 2 is coming out uh, this month, May uh, 18th, I believe. And so, first thing about Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds is actively pursuing Hugh Jackman to do a Deadpool Wolverine crossover movie. So that's a thing. Um, we also got the announcement that Bill Skarsgård is going to be Zeitgeist in the movie. Uh, that's also a thing. Um, Ryan Reynolds also recently was talking about the fact that he doesn't know if there's going to be a Deadpool 3. He doesn't feel like that is a story he can tell. Um, and and it's because he feels like in order to make Deadpool work, which I don't agree with him on this, but in order to make Deadpool work, you have to take everything away from him. And that... Uh, story element can only be done so many times so he feels like potentially Deadpool 2 will be the last solo Deadpool movie but if he's actively seeking to do a movie with Hugh Jackman 
I don't know how much he actually buys into that uh, mentality. So, yeah, that's interesting. And in Deadpool news, we got the announcement that T.J. Miller's last movie in the franchise is going to be uh, this one coming out this month, Deadpool 2. Because uh, looking at five years in prison doesn't really sit very well with Ryan Reynolds. Uh, they didn't. They didn't go back and refilm his scenes or anything. They didn't take him out of the movie because they were already into so far along in post-production by the time all the stuff went down with T.J. Miller. Uh, his rape allegation, which still is really super gray area. It could, it's, it's, right now, it's just a he said, she said kind of thing. Ex-girlfriend sounds like she might just be angry, but we don't know that for certain. Um, and then the whole faking a bomb threat thing, because he had a disagreement with a lady on the train. Uh, TJ, you were funny. You were you were a dude that was like, yeah, I like this guy's stuff. And now it's like, you're a you're an asshole. Uh, and then he mocks a transgender woman, but it, 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 grow a thicker skin. Anyway, uh, so yeah. T.J. Miller is not going to be in the X-Force movie or the potential uh, Deadpool 3 or any movies going forward, according to Ryan Reynolds. Uh, he didn't express explicitly say that, but he did say he's not going to be in X-Force, so it can be assumed that going forward he's not going to be in any more Deadpool-related movies. Um, so yeah, that's the end of Deadpool. We're kicking on over to Masters of the Universe. We talked about this when it was announced. That hashtag show is reporting that... Uh, the movie is in part going to be based on the actual mini comics released in 1986. So the ones, I, it doesn't say this specifically, but the the ones uh, that came with some of the figures, uh, specifically though, the ones that show that there's a relationship, a familial relationship between Prince Adam and Skeletor. So. That's interesting. That means we're going to actually get a proper Masters of the Universe movie and not that Dolph Lundgren abomination from the 80s. So, yeah. Um, they also, at uh, that hashtag show, have word that the production is looking to cast actors in the role of Man at Arms, Zodak, Tila, Orko, Stratos, Beast Man, Evil Lynn, and Trapjaw. So the actual figures that we were playing with back in the 80s, they're going to put them in the movie. Yes, thank you. This is exactly the kind of news we needed for this movie. Oh, I'm so excited. I am so excited about this. But that's all we got for that. We got to kick over to our last bit of news. And this one's also really exciting. Uh, so we talked about the Universal Monsters universe, and they said that it's not really going to happen the way that we want it to happen. They said uh, we will have a crossover movie between Godzilla and King Kong, but that might be about it. We're not going to get Godzilla, King Kong, and Pacific Rim crossover, though I bet, and the announcement that they just made is dates for two movies. We're not only getting... We're not only getting the Kong versus uh, Godzilla movie that they promised us, we're also going to be getting a King of the Monsters Godzilla movie. So, all right, <laughs> I'm so excited, I just can't put all the information out there at once. King Kong, no, 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 I take it back. Godzilla, <laughs> Godzilla, King of the Monsters is uh, coming out March 22nd of 2019. So that is going to feature King Ghidorah, uh, Rodan, Mothra, or, and a, a bunch of Godzilla's famous from the uh, early movies, from when it was just a dude in a, a zipper uh, costume. We're getting those characters, or those monsters, in a movie coming out March 22nd, 2019. Super excited for that. Then, May 29th of 2020, we're getting Godzilla vs. Kong, which is the official title uh, for the Godzilla vs. King Kong movie. So, I am willing to bet if those two movies do as well as they should, assuming they are made as well as they should be, uh, that their next plan of action, because that is everything that uh, Godzilla and, and King Kong fans want, is those two movies, aside from the... Pacific Rim mashup. So if those two movies do well, 
then I bet they start to consider doing the Pacific Rim crossover. So I hope they make these movies so good. Uh, I'm going to pass this one off to you guys. What do you expect out of these two Godzilla movies? Let's talk about that down low in the comments. But that is the end of your movies edition for the week, for this week. Uh, thank you guys for watching. What did I miss? What should we talk about next week, guys? Let me know in the comments down low. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. That is the place that you can go get all your nerdy swag. You can support the channel. You can find all the social media links, whatever. Go deeper in the conversation with me. All of that can be done over on generallynerdy.net. If you want to support the channel a little more directly, there is a Patreon page, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. You can jump on for just a dollar a month and there are other tiers should you feel more generous and you get stuff back but that's all laid out on the website patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you like this episode man click the like button if you are new to the channel click the subscribe button don't forget to ring the little bell so that it lets you know when i post videos because subscriptions don't mean anything on youtube anymore but before we're clicking the things and going to the website and doing all the stuff, guys, please always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably right here. <laughs>